Hello, so this might be interesting as a short intermezzo <coughs> how to uh, translate a, a notebook from any language into any other language. So, uh, Mathematica provides you a very powerful and simple to use uh, tool to translate between uh, languages. Um, we have the word translation. We can say uh, word. I want to have that from English. Uh, to uh, German. Uh, word. Uh, you see, this is working. We can have it from German to uh, Italian. Uh, Wald. No, that's not available. Wald. You see, this is working. Japanese. All this is uh, Arabic. This is uh, pretty uh, simple and impressive. So it's crisscross all uh, languages. Uh, what we also can do, and um, we are using uh, ma um, Mathematica is using the Microsoft Translator for that. We have a text translate and. Uh, we can say, for example, for of, of this uh, text here, we can have a German text and translate it to, we don't need to identify, there's an, uh, a text identify, so maybe um, text uh, language, language identify, that's very impressive as well. Um, you see that's German, so we don't need to specify it here. Text translation, and we want to have that to English. And we will use this, uh, so it's not a good translation, but for our purpose with the probabilities on the meaning of text uh, and so on, this uh, is uh, good enough. And it opens up to integrate all languages, books from all languages into an our environment, so they can talk cross languages. So, and to translate a book of any kind, this is uh, what I want to show. It might be interesting because uh, it uh, summarizes uh, the power of uh, parsing, translation, and so on. So, we have a file you want to translate. So it takes, for example, this interview about uh, Adolf Loos written by a student. And I want to put that uh, to English. So a uh, final name is system dialog input of a file open. So now I get the file name. It's in my library book, uh, students uh, interview Loos, and this is the interview, the file name. Now I can say uh, the code of this, I simply can open this and I uh, get uh, the rendering of it. You know that with uh, E I can get the code and if I go here and say import uh, file name then it, I get the code of uh, this file. So. Now, to translate, I have to go here and look for cells, and the cell is always uh, a text. Then we want to translate just the elements called text, and then we keep the rest, which means we need, say, cases, and we say code, that's a, that's a key, we say cell, x1, that's our text. We, uh, the key should be specific in text. We can have, for example, here a uh, chapter. This means or chapter, so we can fill more of it. Um, then later, so now we uh, take the rest. The rest says, the three says either none one or uh, a list of it. 
So this is a cell and we want to translate it and to just look whether it's working for the X. We want to have it on all uh, levels, which means we get uh, all the texts. So our problem is that we have uh, all the text cells. Now we have the picture here, so we don't want to translate that. So let's go and uh, be more specific. So we just have this here, this is a picture, and we say this is, should be of type string. So now the key gets more specific and here we are. So let's uh, go here and this is a title I think, title. So let's show how this works, title. Now we have the text of the title as well. So there is a specific um, one here. I put it in here so we have a formatting within a text which means we get text data instead of a string. So therefore we can filter that probably by doing the same thing and say uh, text data. Doing the same. Um, text data area. Now we uh, get this specific case. With this case I uh, prepared to make that plain. So I want to simply plain that. There is a uh, function mtp cell uh, to string. If you want to see that you can say information of this and you see how this uh, code is working. This simply says <coughs> uh, give a cell, transfer a cell, so we have to take this to a plain text and uh, let's try to do that. So we say MTP on the right hand side, so we get this, this key. Now we want to have the MTP cell to string of cell, we need the cell for that, x1 of x1 text, because this is specific here, and x2. Done. Yeah. Or we can, uh, so if we want to be unspecific here, we can say x2 uh, and take this x3. This is only one. Then we have x2, x3. So of this cell, string here, and uh, now this works the same like here with all the other elements. But we lose the formatting. So we lose this bolt here, but uh, this should be okay. So now by that we get <coughs> uh, all the texts. So what we can do is now instead of by checking that, now this is fine, we simply say replace. Because later on we want to uh, translate it. So first let's make it the same. So take this, we um, let's make it x2 like, like below x3 x2 x3 so now we simply take it as it is this should work, yes, and then we can say replace. 
which means we keep the notebook and whenever this key matches and we thin it with cases, then it replaces uh, this uh, stuff. So we can do the same here, replace. So then we should get uh, out of it. So now we have to translate, text translate, just this thing. Text translation, the string to English, whatever language it is. So that's we say. This is the code. Code one is replaced. We will have the translation. This takes time and costs a little money because it's a web service from uh, Wikipedia, uh, from, from uh, Mathematica. So this is code one. So we do that later with translation. Uh, now this is code one. Replace it. Now we check whether it's working. Code two is this. So now we are translating. This takes a little time. So now we have to look it up. So we have to change this file name. So it takes the file name and we want to have an E. So therefore FN2 is, or FN uh, English is string replace. Uh, file name dot nb should be blank e dot nb. So this is our new file name, the same directory. So therefore export the uh, fne and then code two. So now this should it's here. Lose E. Okay. Now go here and we see. Here we are. The translation, but we have a problem with. Ah, okay. It's just the text. The translation, we made the. We have the input style, that's fine, because we simply put in there the text of the cell. We have to put that into a cell, because we have a cell here. So cell of x1, translate it, uh, x2, whatever it is, x3, done. Translation. Um, and translate this, look for it, and here we have the translation within the format. So if we do that now with code one as well, so text translation. That should be enough. We have to indicate the progress of this because this takes time. It's not so now we have it. Go to this, and here we are. This is our translated notebook. You see, everything is in English like magic. That's good. Now put that to a proper function. MTP uh, book translate book name 
be a string module now what do we need um, we have the book name so which means what we have is a loss ID so now let's ask for MTP notebook name uh, uh, notebook file name of loss of interview loss let's look now this is working okay now what we need is a file name is this and instead of interview we need book name interview loss we have book name so this is our file name so code is this Code one is this. Code two is this. The file name is this. Export and close. Now wrap these functions. Code, code one, code two, file name E. So everything is green. That's our function. Um, here we should get a uh, now we want to see the progress. We always use uh, status. So what we want to see, what is this thing translating? So we have it here, cell. Then we have the translation here. So we can introduce the status is style. And then we can say translate um, x1, huh? x1 in red. So semicolon, so it has no effect. Then going over here, and that's the status here, and do the same here. So we have the cell, Trix translation, No, this is not good. Ah, oh, okay. Cell. No, this is not good. You didn't. So we have the cell to string as this. And this gives the string, so we need the text translation. We didn't check it uh, good enough, uh, precisely enough. So we have the text translation of this to English. Um, English, that's it. Translation of this. Good. Therefore, if you want to show that, we need a module text.
status style translate text here text translation text english here we are and we put this here so this creates a translated text puts it into a cell with x2 and This should work. Okay. Save it. Then. So now, status. Have to put that dynamic. So now, MTP book. Translate off. And interview loss. Delete it. Good. Now we see the status here. Good. That's working. Good. Now we need the status finished. Here. So, um, click. so then this would be, would say it's okay. And we want to open this notebook at the end, which means export this, um, export this, and uh, notebook open of file name E and a file name e as a return value so that's this and <clears throat> now what we want to have is a function just put it here not to run around with uh, with this name here i can get the name if i'm here um, mtp notebook Book, uh, name so this is uh, the name so if I'm then say um, this is with the book name string if I have mtp book translate without parameters this should be MTP book translate of MTP notebook name. Well, this should work. So we have this, a second version with another key to the function. This is a key without, this is a key with a string. So we always also say MTP to get the kind of um, documentation 
translate usage is and then we say translates a notebook to English notebook and we have this version documentation which always works here. Let's see, that's good. So this is our function, save that and now check whether it's working and then we are happy. We'll take again, so now MTP um, book translate Ah, uh, we forgot the status. Okay, it will take time. Yes, <clears throat> here we are. So that's it. Good, we need to put uh, this dynamic status here to see uh, the progress, not to get impatient. So, but that's it. And I find this very important. So the interesting thing is that we parse a code, whatever it is, we have a key to get certain elements of it, change it and to place it wherever it is, whatever context it is. So we don't have to bother, for example, with pictures or with bold uh, writing or whatever. We simply change language, whatever it is. And the code for that is of this size, which is, I think, pretty and very impressive. It's not, and not just only uh, a German, English, whatever language you have to English. So we can, for example, now, yeah, if you want, just uh, check whether this is working. Go to uh, Al Jazeera. Let's check. And this. Go here, copy, make a new one, paste it. Put this to text. We have this. Then go to China Daily. Um, Look at this. Okay. Doesn't matter. Um, go to French.
save that <coughs> as a so now MTP um, book translate have the uh, dynamic of status well, it's not working Ah, it's not in our in our library, so we have to save that in our library. So go for books, work on new folder. It's uh, translation test translation test. Okay, now it should work. Um, it's translating this. Translating this. Translating this. Here we are. Impressive, huh? <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you'll find Trump that interesting and get uh, the idea of what it means to translate and what it means uh, towards uh, languages that we really can abstract from language and uh, we can work in dictionaries and the language we have to develop cross-language uh, communication. This is what we are able to do with these tools and I hope you found it interesting and impressive that this is, can be done with this uh, code if you have a translator. Uh, available in internet. Just this thing to translate any document, books from Italian, from our Xenoteca, whatever you like. That's it. Thank you. See you soon.